Hello everybody! <laughs> uh, yes, I know it's been a while uh, since I've made a video of any kind and uh, thank you to those of you um, showing concern in that respect. Um, there's been a variety of reasons, um, some of which will be made known to you in due course. Um, and there also hasn't been a house update video for the simple reason that I haven't updated the house. Uh, the fridge is still in the middle of the kitchen floor, the AquaSooth Easy Bather is still clamped to the bathroom wall, and there's still no flooring in the hallway. But uh, we'll get to those things. Rome wasn't, as they say, built in a day. However, I just thought I'd impart to you what's, what actually happened to me today. Uh, and if you haven't eaten, um, probably a good idea not to watch this. And if you have eaten, probably not a good idea to watch this. Um, but I had to go to the, the local health centre today, to the clinic, to the nurse, uh, to get my ears syringed. Now, this is, uh, to cut the short story very long, um, this is something I have to get done on an annual basis because... 15 odd years ago I had a bad ear infection and my ears are kind of um, overly sensitive, they tend to overcompensate and tend to go into sort of like wax mega production so almost on a yearly basis um, they'll fill up with wax and I can't hear anything, it's like a big cotton wool ball over my head so I have to go and get them syringed which is actually, the first time you get it done it's kind of horrible is water getting blasted into your ear and especially when it comes out the other side that's a bit disconcerting. <laughs> Out your nose and your eyes. Um, like a sprinkler there. Um, but the more you get it done, the more you get used to it. And the feeling of sort of that when your ears are full of wax and then having them syringed and it clearing. I mean, you can hear a flea fart on your shoulder basically. It's, it's so, everything's so crystal clear. So I had to go and get the, the left ear done. I felt like for some reason the right ear was okay. Um, so, We've established that. Let's also establish another fact. I live in a semi-detached ground floor dwelling, which you all know. Um, the bedroom of which has, as you all know, patio doors. Which, being the first patio bedroom doors I've ever had, I like to sleep with them open. However, regardless of that fact, there seems to be an abundance... <laughs> I'm warning you of insect life in this house. I've had some of the biggest spiders and funnily, they all come in here. I'm always sitting at the computer and this thing will come running and I'm, I'm talking about a spider that I put a pint glass over that the pint glass could barely contain its legs uh, You know, we're, we're talking big son of a bitch here because um, it's that time of year when the males are kind of and they're looking for a bit of spider loving. Uh, so they're looking for mates and they're scurrying all over the place but they always seem to come into this bloody room um, then again, I'm never in any of the other rooms. Um, you know the living room? I can honestly say I haven't been in the living room other than to go and, you know, I keep my CDs and DVDs in the unit there, and other than to go in and get them. Uh, it's been about three weeks since I've been in the living room. Um, there is literally cushions I haven't sat on on the new sofas. Anyway, so as I say, there's there's abundance of in insect life. Um, I get these little wood lice just coming in from the garden. So, combine that, <laughs> those um, two uh, scenarios that I went to get my ears finished today and there's a lot of insect life in this house. And also, remember that survey that was done? That the, you know, some students obviously spent vast sums of taxpayers' money and uh, time um, to discover that in, a, in your average lifetime that we eat 12 spiders. Um, well, this wasn't a spider, but uh, when the lady was going <laughs> squirting, she went, oh, something's come out. <laughs> it was an earwig in my ear. Now, it was... Uh, <laughs> it looked kind of whole and complete. Um, so I think it must have gone in there today. <laughs> When, I mean, I was on night shift this morning, so I came home, went to bed, and it must have crawled in there today because it looked kind of complete. It wasn't like a, 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 a husk or anything. It was a, had legs and everything. Um, so they're not called earwigs for nothing, huh? Uh, I just sincerely hope it wasn't a female. So, yeah, um, that's what happened to me today. Disgusting as it may sound. No, no may about it. It was disgusting. 
I still am having trouble accepting the fact that I was carrying around with me and another entity. But anyway, there we go. Um, I have got some videos planned. Um, a little follow-up to the withdrawal video. Nothing as fancy schmancy as that one. Um, and one or two other things in the pipeline. But uh, I just thought I'd touch base, say hello to y'all. And also, um, again, I have been neglecting my duties as a subscribee. Um, to those of you who have recently subscribed to me, um, again, thank you very, very much. It's it's really, really appreciated. Um, I did an exercise where I went through all my subscribers and removed all the dead and closed and suspended accounts, and I went down by about 30 or 40. Not that, not that numbers really matter, it's, it's the people that matter. Um, uh, <laughs> um, and now I've kind of clawed back up, so that means I've, I've gained all, all, you, all you guys as subscribers, and it really means an awful lot to me, so thank you very, very much. And thank you to everybody who commented on my last video. Um, it, was, it, it appeared to be quite a, quite a hit um, with everyone, so again, thank you all very, very much. And we'll see you all again soon. A toodaloo the new.